American astronauts planting the stars and stripes on man's newly conquered neighbor. It's gotta be one of the most proud moments of my life, I guarantee you. To find out if it really was a PR stunt, Cary, Grant, and Tory have breached NASA's inner sanctum. Now, the conspiracy theorists think that they see some sort of breeze blowing around the flag, which you wouldn't have on the moon since there's no atmosphere. So I've built a replica of the lunar flag assembly. We're going to put it in a vacuum chamber, pump out all the air, and see if we can move it around just like the astronauts would have done placing it on the moon, see if we see that back and forth motion. All right, time for the flag. The flag assembly is an exact replica of the one used on the Apollo missions. The horizontal rod specifically prevents the flag collapsing in a windless environment. Hey, Grant, this is your first rig in space. I gotta go. First up, to confirm the rig in space, is working is the all-important control. You guys ready? Yeah. All right, mm -hmm. this is the control at regular atmospheric pressure. And uh, I'm just gonna shake the flag as if I were an astronaut planting it in the surface of the moon. All right, you ready? Be the astronaut. Here we go. Three, two, one. All right, it's moving. And ready? As expected, the momentum of the twisting and turning quickly dissipates, and the flag is stationary in no time at all. Okay, I guess we uh, put a vacuum on it and see what happens. All right, let's start sucking the air out. So Vacuum Tech Donna turns on the pumps. This is flag-waving test in a vacuum. Okay, planting it on the surface of the moon, and stop. Oh, it's definitely it. <laughs> It's moving a lot. It's moving a lot. I mean, still moving. That's awesome. There you go. Without drag or friction from the air, the momentum of Grant's planting action lasts for a surprising amount of time. All Could right. be mistaken for a breeze. Yeah. But it's lower air resistance. Comparing it to the control in regular atmospheric pressure illustrates that theory beautifully. So in the vacuum, the flag moved, you know, not just a little bit. It actually moved quite a bit. So that proves you don't need wind in order to move the flag in a vacuum. So unless someone finds a shot of the flag flapping without an astronaut manipulating the flagpole, it's myth busted. We've come all the way to Alabama and the NASA to find out once and for all if the conspiracy theorists were correct. Where are we at? Well, we showed that a moon boot can make a footprint in lunar dust inside of a vacuum. So that one's busted and momentum alone will keep a flag waving in a vacuum. You don't need any wind. So NASA 2, conspiracy theorists, zero.